The last couple of weeks for Manchester United have gone extremely well. As I record this, we have just beat Leicester. And on Thursday, we've got a second half of the tie against Europa League side Barcelona. Before on Sunday, we're going to a Carabao Cup final. And that has been because of Ten Hag's absolute brilliance. Now, I've already uploaded a tactic on the channel of GWR's 8-9 Ten Hag FM. Well, I have changed that around. I've made my own. It's an alternate version of what Ten Hag has been playing recently at Manchester United with, as you can tell from the farm now, big man Weghorst in the number 10 role. Without further ado, let's get right into it. What is going on there, guys? Kempi here, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my first ever tactic that I have created myself. Now, like I said, we've got a tactic that was made by GWRFM, and a massive thank you to him, because I know a lot of you guys have used it. It's the 8, 9, 10 Hog. Well, what I have done is I've altered it quite a bit, to be honest, to make an alternate version of what's been going on in real life. Obviously, in real life, Manchester United lost Casemiro through suspension. Um, Sabitz has come in as a midfielder. Veghorst has been dropping into that number 10 role while Rashford goes up front, which means Bruno plays on the right wing as a playmaker. The left wing role is very different to what it is, and Rashford is there. The wing backs are bobbing on a little bit more. So it's quite a different formation, and really it's a complete sort of switch up with the same sort of morals. So I'm going to go through that today with you. First of all, I'm going to show you the results of how good this has been. And let's load up FM. For some reason, it black screens when I press that button. But first simulation is with Manchester United, and we've got 80 points. Now, you look at that, and it's not fantastic, but I think that's really good in the Premier League because you've got, obviously, Manchester City and Liverpool right up there with you. And Veghorst in the 10, 30 goals and 10 assists. Now, what he is doing is a shadow striker. There's obviously a lot more instructions to it than that, but he's a shadow striker in behind the main striker, and that main striker being Marcus Rashford. 47 goals, and that is outrageous. And I'm telling you now, that is not the best we've got. In fact, someone broke over 100 goals in one sim. This Man United one isn't actually the best, but I thought I would show you it with Manchester United first because I kept these players in these positions. Bruno Fernandes in that right wing role. As an advanced playmaker, 20 assists from there, 12 goals. Vekul says the cam, 30 goals, 10 assists. And Rashford as a striker, 47 goals, just the one assist. Them three are the key ones that I've sort of built this formation around. Obviously, Luke Shaw being a wing back on attack, he will be there and he'll be up and down that left hand side. You've got almost a little bit more staggered side of a right side of a ball winner on centre mid, a uh, ball winner in midfield on support, um, a wing back on support on the right. But again, I'll go through all of that in a second. There is a few tweaks you can do to this tactic, but that's where I think the 8, 9, 10 hard comes in. I think you run these simultaneously along together and you're going to have an absolutely unbelievable dual tactic threat that the AI is just not going to be able to stop. Let me show you the other results we've got and then we'll get back to this tactic with Manchester United. I'm going to start things off with PSG on this screen because Mbappe scored 104 goals in this formation and Messi as the cam. Obviously, he's not got the, the pressing style that Veghorst has got, but he's the best you can do with PSG, and he's done very well there. 28 goals, 25 assists, but Mbappe, he loved it. 104 goals in 55 games is outrageous. 100 points for PSG, 99 goal difference. When we go to the data hub, uh, in terms of goals, expected goals per game, it was 3.32, so they have absolutely smashed it. In fact, they actually matched exactly their goals per game and their expected goals per game, which is a little bit wild over an entire season and only conceded 0.71 per game. They've done very well. Um, how many goals did they concede overall? I'm not sure if we can actually break that down on this screen, which is a bit disappointing for ourselves. But Mbappe was 71 goals in the league alone. He enjoyed it quite a lot, didn't he? 8.23 as an average rate in Messi with a 7.84 in the cam role. Um, you've got Carlos Soler, which I think obviously hampers the tactic a bit. What I would recommend you do is sign a big striker, play him in the cam, and put Messi out on the right in this situation. Have a very fast striker up top, big man in cam, playmaker on the right, inverted forward on the left, basically, is how you do this. So how did Neymar do? 13 goals, 22 assists. A lot of them were scored by Mbappe. Let's go over to Barcelona. See how things went here. Another title, thankfully. Liverpool knocking out Barcelona. And also knocking out, um, what are they called? PSG. Um, this one, Lewandowski has done very well. 61 goals as that striker. Um, I'm not sure who played in cam for Barcelona, to be honest. Uh, if we go to the schedule, sort of scroll down to here. And have this one as a random one. 
Um, oh, we can't see it for some reason. Oh, we can see this one. A 7-0 win against Almira. Um, it was... Kessie? Oh, Pedri. Pedri played in the 10 role that Veghorst plays in. But again, it's not really designed for someone like Pedri. He's only played 33 games there. It's meant for a big man in that cam role. And really, you're just going to score so many goals with him, as we saw with Veghorst and Plymouth. Obviously, down in the League One, can it work at a lower league tactic? 10 points above Ipswich. I think it does work in a lower league tactic. Um, if we look at the di uh, data hub again, 2.11 goals per game, only conceding 0.85 goals per game. And Ryan Hardy, as he does every time we do this sim, 40 goals for him. And he's absolutely smashed it. Let me show you the formation now and show you the in-depth player stats. Just quickly, guys, can you make sure to subscribe to the channel as well? And obviously, this tactic is not anywhere sort of in the internet. It's all in my uh, Discord, or you can copy it from the video. I would love you to come over to the Discord, but it is not a must. You can copy it from the video. I've not quite got anything set up yet with uh, FM Scout or Base or sort of our SI, so I might try and get something done there where I can upload some tactics. Um, but for now, it's just in the Discord and through the video. So make sure to subscribe, join the Discord, like the video, all of that jazz. And this is the tactic itself. So a sweeper keeper on defend in goal. Uh, take fewer risk and tackle harder on the right uh, on the goalkeeper. Right back, full back on support. Shoot less often, tackle harder. Ball playing defender on defend. Stay wider, tackle harder. Ball playing defender on defend. Stay wider, tackle harder. Full back on attack on the left back. I think the rest is all the same as the 8 9 10 Hag. This is different. It's shoot less often and tackle harder. Sabitza as a central midfielder on support. Dribble less, shoot less often, hold position, tackle harder and mark tighter. Ball and fielder on support next to him is Casemiro, dribble less and mark tighter. Advanced playmaker on the right wing. Now these front four positions obviously where the whole new system comes in pretty much. More direct passing, roam with the position, tackle harder added to that right wing advanced playmaker. The shadow striker on attack. Cross less often, shoot less often, tackle hard. We want Veg Horse just linking things up and being a big man and getting in behind the striker and scoring goals. Inside forward on support on the left, no added instructions to him. And an advance forward on attack up top. We try to emulate what Rashford is doing in real life and breaking his own record. So dribble more, shoot more, roam. He's going to go everywhere. He's going to score you lots and lots of goals. Now, he's start on a positive mentality. Fairly wide attack and width. Pass it into space with the overlap on the left as the only instruction in that nice little map there. Uh, passing directness stays as the middle. Slightly higher on the tempo screen. Work the ball into the box and run at the defence. Distribution type, take short kicks. Obviously, United have been building out from the back, even with David De Gea. So if you get a better goalkeeper who can pass the ball, even better for there. Distribute to fullbacks and centre-backs, counter and counter press. A higher defensive line, a higher press, step up more, get stuck in, prevent the short goalkeeper distribution and trigger the press much more often. Ten Hag has been working absolute wonders with Manchester United with this formation and obviously with the usual style of play he has, which is pretty much the 8-9 Ten Hag. Thank you guys for watching. I'm buzzing for today's video. And on Thursday's video, I will be uploading a rebuild with Manchester United. We've done a youth only rebuild, but it's pretty much looking like we've got new owners and they're going to have some serious spendsies. So Thursday is going to be fun as well. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Come back on Thursday for that. Like the video and I'll speak to you all next time.